Hello developers. In this video, we are going to learn some observable things. Suppose you observe some things that will be reflect in our view or you want to use in some calculations. So at that time, Swift UI provide you majorly three things that you can use in your program. So in this project, we are going to learn about state, about binding, about observed object. <coughs> So what is state? Suppose you want to observe some simple primitive values like you want to observe integer values, string values or boolean at that time state will be good. So what is binding? Suppose I have a class A right and there is a string and there is a class B. So I just want the B will make some changes in string and it will reflect to our A classes string right. So if I if I take the example the string itself I navigate to B we have to make some changes to string and it will automatically reflect it to our A class string then at that time we going to use binding. And what is observed object? So the observed object is as I say state will be used in the simple thing. Observed object when you want to observe classes then at that time you are going to use observed object. So let's do some programming. We will start with a state. Suppose uh, I just want to take some text field. We have a v stack and I just want a text field okay so it will take some value so i am just taking a simple one that it is a placeholder what i just want to see first view and it will need some binding string so that it can store the value the user is writing on that text field it will save in some binding string so i am just taking a variable and third string so by default it is uh, empty we are learning state so i'm just writing state so as you see it will take binding string if i write entered string right this is a string but when i write something dollar sign then this is uh, this is a binding string if we take the example if you are right enter string this we will show binding string right so i'm just typing binding string now what I need, uh, I just need some style of this text field. So what I'm just writing text field style and I just giving this to rounded border as field style and some giving some padding from left top bottom 1616 by default. So as user enters some enter string, it will be visible to our user. So I'm just taking text and it is entered string. Okay. I'm running this program this is our text field I just type something so as you can see everything I type in text field it will reflect it to our text right so in background what is happening uh, when we write in text field it stores the value in enter string and then it will update the UI and it will show the updated text so what is binding so for binding as we know another view will change the string or uh, integer values so I am creating a new structure and it is binding and it will uh, as I am changing the enter string of login view in our another view. So I am just typing same thing and it is of type string and I am just copy paste all the code here. Okay, going one view to another, we will need a navigation view. So I am doing some changes in scene delegate. I am just writing navigation view, and in the view, I am just giving login view. And I need some button so that I can press in that button and I can go to our another view. So I just need a navigation link. So in the navigation link, we have a title key, press me and in destination, uh, we are going to return the another view. Okay. So the enter string should be the string that I want to be changed. 
so i'm just running the code okay so i'm just doing something i'm writing this is our first view okay now i'm clicking on press me it will go to our next view that is another view the predefined is in the text field is this is our first view so because we are sending the value of entered string now i am changing the value to our second view okay now i am pressing back so as you can see this is our second view because we are sending the reference of entered string to another view another view is changing this string and reflecting back to the login view so this is the binding now what is observed object so as i earlier told you that if you want to observe the classes then you can use observable object right so what i am going to do in the login model i am just converting this to class and inherit with observable object and the identifier to published because i am using this test string to our ui in the login view i am just changing this to observed object and i am writing where uh, login model and that is login model now we are observing login model dot testing right and showing same thing to our text now i am sending the testing to this view so that we can check the binding also now i am running this program it is showing how we are learning sql because in the login model as you can see we are observing this test string so this is how we are learning sql so same thing we are going to do is that i am just clearing this as you can see it is reflecting back to the ui uh, hi i am first view now i am going to press me and i am just changing this to second view okay i am pressing back so as you can see it is also working in the classes also okay.